2017. New releases, we're gonna start with the game that we mentioned already in the previous episode. Songbringer came out, two positive reviews and the developers already all the negative stuff that the press said, like the small little neg negative tidbits uh, about combat and stuff like that. He's been like day one, okay, let's go back into coding and make it better. And uh, he's been working on it just as he was before, streaming the development, making things better. And yeah, you see the game has positive reviews. Go check it out if you haven't yet. I played it quite a lot and it's very Zelda-ish, uh, dungeon crawling. I love the atmosphere of the game. Songbringer is available for $20. Another game we mentioned already last time is Fugle, which came out to early access actually. It's available for Windows and Mac at ten dollars. Yeah, it's a it's really cool, meditative, flying around as a bird in voxel landscape, beautiful stuff. Another game in early access is Mystic Melee. Melee? Melee Melee. Meleo. A great evil is threatening the galaxy and only a team of arcane wizards can stop it. Master imaginative spells in this fast-paced physics platformer. Take your skills to the arena for fierce multiplayer battles. It's available for Windows only at $15 and since it's an early access game it's just gonna get better and better and better. Timbleweed Park is a game from March this year, so half a year old, but it finally came out on Nintendo Switch as well as iOS. If you haven't played this amazing adventure game from the guy who invented point-and-click adventures, Ron Gilbert, you know Maniac Mansion and Monkey Island. And there's a whole bunch of cool artists on the team, like Mark Ferrari. Actually, just go read my article about the development of Timbleweed Park and the history of all the people involved in the project. Like, look at this cool photo of Ron Gilbert and David Fox and Gary Winnick being all cool, working on Maniac Mansion. Back at the time it was called Lucas Film Games. Anyway, go check out Timbleweed Park on Switch for $20 or iOS for $10. Speaking of cool adventure games, The Witch's Isle is an adventure game that takes place in a dreamlike town on a solitary island. It's very unique and artsy and all that stuff, people saying good stuff about it. It's available for Mac and Windows for only $3. It's a short thing, but people say it's totally worth those $3. An upgraded version of the game Hydora by the very respected developer Locomalito has been released and it's called Super Hydora. Super Hydora is a non-linear horizontal shoot-em-up designed to offer a challenging experience sublimating the richness of traditional shmup classics. Face the menace of the Meroptians aboard the Delta Force alone or with your friends in this game with direct action and nostalgic art. It's available for Windows only at $12. While we're on the topic of going right and fighting the bad guys, if we change spaceships for our fists, we get Fight and Rage. Fight and Rage is a brand new old-school side-scroller beat-em-up inspired by the classics from the Golden Age and with an art style that mimics the aesthetic from the 90s arcade games. This game pays homage to all classic gameplay features that makes this genre one of the best from its time. It has a lot of very positive reviews and it's available for Windows for $20. If you want to destroy even more stuff, take a look at Pixel Gladiator. In the distant future, brutal gladiatorial battles is a top-rated show extremely popular all over the universe. You've been sent to the abandoned planet as one of the participants of the show. Your goal is to survive as long as possible, fighting back deadly creatures in the focus of billions of viewers. Kind of like this, uh, what was it called? The place, the games where they're hungry and all that stuff. It's available for Windows for only $5. If we add a little bit of exploration to the fighting, we get Metroidvanias and a robot named Fight is a Metroidvania roguelike focused on exploration and item collection. Explore a different procedurally generated labyrinth each time you play and discover randomized power-ups to traverse obstacles, find secrets and explode meat beasts. It has a lot of very positive review and it's developed by one guy, Matt Bittner. I like when single developers just kick ass at pixel art and code and make great games that a lot of people love. It is available for Mac and Windows at $10. Going from games like fighting and metroidvania that everyone is making to a little bit more creative waters. When was the last time you played a pixel art real-time strategy? Well, now you can with Tooth and Tail from the wonderful developer Pocket Watch Games. Toot and Tail is a real-time strategy game featuring single-player online competitive play, split-screen replays and more. Build a base, lead your army, eat your enemies, because every unit is an animal, like skunks and owls. 
And if you don't care about multiplayer that much like me, yes, you have the single player story mode. Tooth and Tail has a massive 560 very positive reviews in these two or three weeks it's been out and is available for Mac and Windows at $20. Game of the month. The one and only Octavio Navarro, also known as Pixels Ha, huh, that we all love for his illustrations, you can read my feature of his work in Returnator magazine, of course, comes to us with a point-and-click adventure game called Midnight Scenes. It's actually a series, we're gonna see the first one right now, it's called The Highway, and it's a free game, it's quite short, and I really love the format because it's something that when you see the game, you just download it and play it, and you're done in like 15 minutes. It has this cool black and white vibe that's a lot like the Twilight Zone. And it's this small little mystery with rich storytelling or atmosphere that we're used to from Octavio Navarro. And it's just the most wonderful thing. And he said that he's gonna make at least two more. It's going to be a trilogy and then he's gonna see if he wants to do more in this series or do other stuff. Octavio Navarro has been making animations for Timbleweed Park that I've mentioned earlier. And while he was doing that, he was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna make my own adventure game and in three months he's put this thing together in unity. 